Hi, this is Joshua Coombs, Global Technical Lead for AutoCAD Civil 3D Technical Support. In this lesson, I'll walk you through a standalone installation of AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010. A standalone installation differs from a network installation in such a way that you are able to install and activate the product on a standalone machine rather than relying on a network license manager to distribute licenses. Before we begin with the installation steps, there are a few things that you will want to take a look at and make sure that you have reviewed. First, you will want to review and be familiar with the installation documents that are provided with your product. You can find them either on the product media itself or from the installation wizard. You can also find these documents online on autodesk.com. Also, you will want to review and make sure your system meets the minimum requirements for the installation of your product. You can find these system requirements either on the installation documentation or from the product page on autodesk.com. Next, you will want to confirm that you have administrative privileges to your machine. You will not need domain administrative privileges, but you will need administrative privileges to install the product. You will also not need administrative privileges to run your product, only for installation. Before you install any of your Autodesk products, you will want to confirm that your antivirus software is disabled. Many antivirus softwares run a live scan, which can increase the amount of time it takes to install the product, as well as interfere with some of the files that may be created and needed for the correct installation of your product. And it's also a good idea to close out any other applications that you may be running during the installation process. Pro programs such as Microsoft Office Outlook may interfere with the, pro the installation process and cause problems with your install. If you intend to install your product with any kind of, kind of language pack or country kit, make sure that you download this prior to installation. Don't wait until the time that you get to the page in the installation wizard to go to the web and install it. Download it first and have it available locally on your machine. Finally, make sure you have the serial number and product key available prior to installation. There are several places that this information can be found. The first place you can find this information is on the back cover of the media package. Here you'll see an illustration of the serial number and product key with the serial number blurred out. If you downloaded the product as part of the electronic fulfillment, you should have received an email that which contains the serial number and product key as well. Finally, if you're a subscription customer, you should be able to log into the subscription center as contract administrator to find your serial number and product key. Now let's move into the installation of AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010. If you're installing from the product media, the first thing you see when you insert disk one should be the installation wizard. If you do not see the installation wizard after installing disk one, please navigate to the DVD on your Windows Explorer and select the setup.exe file. The first thing you'll note from this launch page is this is where you'll be able to install your product, create a deployment, or install some additional tools and utilities, or read the documentation that I alluded to earlier. For this tutorial, we're going to do a standard installation. So navigate to the install product selection and select install product. At this point I would like to take note, make note of the links on the left. These links will take you to the installation documentation for more information on some of the selections that you have on each page. Note that these selections will change depending on which page you are on. So if you have any questions about the selections that are being made on this page, please refer to the links. The first selection options that we have are to install, select the products that we want to install. As you will note here, AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010 and Autodesk Vault 2010 are automatically selected by default. In addition to that, Autodesk Design Review 2010 is also highlighted if it is not already installed. If you do not wish to install either Autodesk Vault 2010 or AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010, you can deselect these options at this point. The next page is the standard license agreement. Be sure to read through this license agreement, select accept, and select next once you have confirmed your selection. 
The next page you will come to will require some manual input. This is where you're going to enter in some of your product and user information, such as your serial number, the product key, your name, and company name. Enter that information into these fields and select Next. Before you move into the installation, you'll first see this page to review your configuration settings. As you will note here, the default installation is a standalone license type. And that's what we want for this tutorial. However, let's walk through some of the configuration settings that are available for you. Go ahead and select the Configure button next to AutoCAD Civil 3D and we'll see some additional screens. The first screen you will see is where you are able to select the type of license that you would like to use. As you see here, we have both the standalone and a network license option available to us. Again, for this tutorial, we'll be doing a standalone install, so make sure that the standalone license is selected. The next page in the wizard will allow you to select some installation types. Here you will find that you are able to install some additional applications such as the HydroFlow extensions, as well as to determine where the program is actually going to be installed. By default, Civil 3D is installed under C program files. However, if you want Civil 3D under a different drive, here's where you would choose that selection. The next page that you'll see is where you're able to select some of the content packs that Civil 3D pre-ships with. Here you'll be able to select some options depending on the languages that you wish to use, as well as the imperial and metric measurement units that you may wish to use. You also have the option here whether or not you want to create a desktop shortcut icon for those different options. The next page that you will see is intended to allow you to select some configurable folders specific to AutoCAD Civil 3D. However, unfortunately, these configurable folders settings will not be applied to your installation. So rather than setting these up at this point, please skip this page and make these changes in your product after installation. The next page that you will see is where you are able to apply a service pack to your installation. If you're connected to the internet, the installation wizard will look for any available updates for your product. Here you're able to download these directly from the internet or if you've uh, downloaded them already and extracted the MSP file per the README file, you can browse to those on your local machine and select those at this time. Otherwise, you can select the Do Not Install Any Service Pack option and collect Next. At this point, the configuration of AutoCAD Civil 3D is complete. You can either select Complete Configuration Now, or you can select any other products that you are wishing to install at this time to work on the configuration of those. For instance, we can come up here and select AutoCAD Vault 2009 Client to configure its settings. However, compared to the installation of Civil 3D, the installation of Vault Client is relatively simple. Here you'll see your only options are to create desktop shortcut icons or to change the location of the Vault Client installation. Once any desired changes are made, select the Configuration Complete button and you'll return to the Overview page. Once again in the Overview page, you're able to confirm the settings that you have selected and when, you, when these are confirmed, you select the Install. This will begin the installation process. Once the installation has begun, you'll be able to follow along with the installation of the prerequisite components. Eventually, once you reach a certain point, you'll be prompted for Disk 2. Insert Disk 2 into your disk drive, select OK, and the installation will continue. As you will probably note by this time, this installation process has been sped up for this tutorial. However, eventually you will be prompted for the installation of Disk 3. Install Disk 3, select OK, and the installation will continue.
Once all the prerequisite components in Civil 3D 2010 is installed, as well as any of the other applications such as the HydroFlow or Vault Client are installed, you'll be prompted with the installation complete screen. Here you'll be able to launch the readmes for both the applications, Vault, Civil, Vault and Civil 3D, as well as select finish and you are ready to start working with AutoCAD Civil 3D. And that concludes the basic standalone installation for AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010.